DSA is the other asymmetric crypto algorithm that can be used to create digital signatures. But it's different from how RSA did it. Let's talk about it. DSA is an asymmetric crypto algorithm, but it cannot be used for encryption or decryption or key exchanges. It's sort of baked into the name. It is, after all, the digital signature algorithm. DSA is an algorithm that involves two formulas. One formula which generates a signature and another formula which verifies a signature. The formula for signature generation requires as input the data you're trying to sign and the private key. And the result, as you can imagine, is the signature itself. Then, to verify that signature, you would use the same data in the same signature and combine it with the public key, and the output of that would be a 1 or a 0, indicating true or false whether the signature checked out or not. Notice there's no encryption or decryption occurring. It's simply creating a signature and verifying it. I should also mention that even though it's not explicitly illustrated on my diagram, a hashing step does still occur. Remember, the data can be arbitrary size, and we want to take that data and turn it into something smaller, a fixed width, that represents the original data. That hashing step incurs inside the signature generation formula. Also, I'll quickly note that this is a bit of a simplification. There are some other values that are involved in DSA. The math gets pretty complex, so I didn't find it valuable to show it to you in this Cryptography Essentials course. So that wraps up our lesson on DSA. The main takeaway is understanding that DSA is another algorithm you can use to generate and verify signatures. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.